In our last few videos, we have learned several complex accounting concepts. Before we continue, I want to slow down and review these concepts and look at how they work together to make accounting function. One of the first key concepts we've learned is the accounting equation. The accounting equation is often called the foundation of accounting because everything we do is built off of this equation. The equation is assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. This equation has three basic components, assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. All of the accounts that we will use in our transactions are related to one of these three categories. Assets are everything that we own. Liabilities are the things that we owe, and owner's equity are those things that belong to the owners. Now we also learned a concept called debits and credits. Debits and credits are just two different kinds of numbers that are used to record the increases and decreases of these different categories. Debits represent the left side of the accounting equation, so underneath each category I'm going to write debits on the left side. Credits represent the right side of the accounting equation, so on the right side of each of these categories I'm going to record credit. Now the key to understanding debits and credits is to remember which of the two numbers increases or decreases any category. As we begin recording transactions, we'll be recording each account as either a debit or a credit depending on whether they increase or decrease. So the key to understanding debits and credits is to remember which of the two numbers increases and decreases each category. Let's start with assets. Assets are on the left side of the accounting equation, so the left side increases assets. So debits would be the increase to an asset, and that would make credits the decrease to the asset, because the opposite number always decreases a category. We also learned that the increasing side is sometimes called a normal balance because most accounts normally have a positive or increasing balance. So in this case, assets would have a debit normal balance because debit is the increasing side. Let's look at liabilities. Liabilities are on the right side of the accounting equation, so they would increase on the right or credit side and decrease on the opposite or debit side. And since credits are the increasing side, we would say that liabilities have a credit normal balance. Owner's equity is on the right side, just like liabilities, so they would also increase on the credit side and decrease on the debit side, with credit being their normal balance side. Now, you may have noticed that there are four other categories built into owner's equity. That's because owner's equity has four main components to it. Two of them increase owner's equity, and two of them decrease owner's equity. The first category inside of owner's equity is capital. Capital is whenever owners put money into the business. Sometimes we call this an investment. So you might hear owners investing or, or owners capital. Either way, it is when owners put money into a business. When an owner puts money into the business, their financial right to the business increases. So capital goes on the right or increasing side of owner's equity. This also means that capital, when it increases, will also be a credit. The opposite, a debit, will cause capital to decrease. This also means that capital's normal balance side would be the credit side. Now, if owners put money in with capital, when they take money out, that's called a draw. A draw is when an owner takes money out for their own personal use. So personal use is kind of the key word that I look for for owner's draws when I'm looking at a transaction. When an owner takes money out of a business, their financial right to that business decreases. So draws reduces owner's equity. That's why it's on the decreasing or debit side of the transaction. That means that whenever we draw more money, owner's equity goes down. So an increase in draws would be on the debit side. And the opposite, a credit, would cause draws to decrease. Since draws has a debit increasing balance, we would say that it has a debit normal balance. The next category in owner's equity is revenue. Revenue is whenever the business makes a sale or earns money. In the end, any money that the business earns belongs to the owners and increases their financial right. That is why it's on the right hand or increasing side of owner's equity. Just like capital, revenue is going to have a credit increasing side and a debit decreasing side. Or in other words, it has a credit normal balance. Revenues are when a business earns money, 
And so expenses is when it spends money. And when the business spends money, that's less money that the owners have a right to. That is why it's on the decreasing or debit side of owner's equity. And just like draws, because it's on the decreasing side, the more expenses we have, the less owner's equity we have. And so a debit balance would increase expenses. Credits would make them decrease. That's why we say that expenses have a debit normal balance. So I realize that understanding debits and credits can be very confusing at first. Keeping track of whether or not accounts or categories increase or decrease with debits or credits can get students very confused. That's why I put together this chart. And hopefully looking at this chart will help you understand in each transaction whether you should be recording a debit or a credit. If you first look at what accounts are being used in the transaction and what categories they belong to, you can come back to this chart and quickly identify whether your transaction will be a credit or a debit just by understanding if that account is increasing or decreasing. The more that you practice and the more that you record transactions using debits and credits, the more familiar this will seem to you and the easier it will become. But for now, if you need to use this chart in recording each of your transactions, use it as a helpful guide. To learn more about debits and credits and other accounting topics, check out more of my YouTube videos or visit ToriNorman.com.